What's up everyone, this is FNH here and today I'm going to show you how to render 4K videos in Camtasia Studio. So let's get right into this. So the first thing is, it doesn't matter which Camtasia version you have, it's almost theoretically the same thing. I'm going to kind of show you what to do, where to go and how to do it. So first of all, obviously, you recorded a video, just put it in the media section and don't touch it for now. What you're going to do is the way you render it in 4K is kind of dependent on obviously your what you were recording, what type of game you were playing and your monitor's resolution as well. Like obviously that matters or plays into it. So let's say it was something you recorded from your phone and that's like an iPhone or a camera that has 4K quality. Great. You don't need to really do anything as long as you exported the video in 4K format because that matters also you're pretty much good to go. You don't need to stress about it from the other pieces. Now, once you're in here and you throw it in the media bin, what you're going to do is you're going to click into this drop down over here and click project settings in here. Now, this is where it might be a little bit varied depending on what you have. If you have the latest version of Camtasia, there is abilities that says 4K UHD. If you don't, you can literally just do custom and then put in these same criteria that I just mentioned that, that are literally provided right there. The 3840 by 2160. So the width is 3840 and the height is 2160. You can make the frames obviously 60 frames per second because you know that's what you want. Up to you if you want to auto, auto normalize loudness. We're going to click into apply. Once you have that, you can just drag the video in here. And then you'll kind of see like, alright, the video is dragged in here. And what you want to do is you want to make sure obviously that the video is kind of linked up so again depending on how you recorded it the 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 settings might be a bit off so as you can see it comes off a little it's all dependent on how you recorded it so obviously we're going to just keep it here we're going to just make sure it touches the edges it might be a little off from the bottom it's again like i said it's how you recorded it so i didn't initially said this is just a test video if you had a 4k video that you record 4k it would work like it would fit accurately but not that big a deal. We're going to kind of just showing you from the rendering perspective how to do it. So once you have this, you're going to click into export and you're not going to do basically local file as you normally may have done. You're going to click into custom production and you're going to do new custom production. Uh, you're going to choose what you want. I always do MP4 smart player, which is HTML5 as well. And you're going to do next in here. You're going to have to, for the first time, at least change up a few things. So in size, you're going to make sure the video size is exactly what I mentioned, 3840, 2160. And it's going to make sure the aspect ratio is accurate. The video settings over here also, you're going to do in encoding mode quality, keyframe every 5 seconds, and the frame rate is 60. Uh, audio is fine as is. If you want to change it, you can. And that's basically it. You're going to do next. You can obviously include watermark if you want or not. Next. And then I'm not going to press finish. But once you press finish, it's going to take long. Just an FYI. It takes a lot longer to render this because it's 4K. And it's literally going to render the video in 4K. It's going to be massive. It could be gigs long. It could, depending on how long the video is, it could be gigs. It could be a, a bunch of 100 megabytes. Again, it's all dependent on the quality of the video and how much you're trying to do. And this is going to literally export into a 4K format. And when you upload it to YouTube, you will see, even if your video is not 4K, it'll It'll give it the 4k option it'll literally show you from uh, 144p to all the way to 4k 60 uh, with even the frames per second if it's 30 frames or 60 frames per second breakout um, some videos if they have HDR it actually even gives you the HDR option so when you record with an iPhone it says HDR on or off very cool um, so yeah that's basically it that's how you do this it's a very simple quick tutorial it works with all Camtasia versions and you should be good to go so yeah um, if you guys uh, have any comments questions concerns just let me know in the comment section below I'm more than happy to help you guys out if you guys overall like this video please smash that like one helps out and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and that fnh out